Yeah, I just want to show you a quick demonstration of how this changeover is being used. This changeover. The name of this one is uh, A and T, and it's pure copper. So I'm going to open it up for us to see how the inside is. We still have it in this type. I will open the two of them so you will see the difference. So I want to open it up now. I think after this one, after a video of this, I will also do a video of the lottery switch. That's uh, if you don't want to use this type of changeover. There is another one that is more easier to operate than this. So I will also do a video on that one too. But um, before that, I would will, I will like to know the people that are interested in knowing about that one. Please leave a comment in the section, please. Leave a comment or give the video a thumbs up or anything. Just let me show that you are interested or just like a, a something to encourage me. So just do, just do something. So after this, I will release the other video next. Okay, I've ripped the two of them apart. This one, I just got it for the purpose of this video. But this one has been in this shop for a very long time. Let's compare. For those of us that might be thinking that why will I leave this one and go and buy this one? Or why will I leave this one and go and buy this one? So these are the difference. First of all, looking at the thickness of the copper. See how thick this one is. And see how thick this one too is. So just look very closely. So I don't. I don't even need to say anything concerning the difference, because you, you will even see it with your eyes. So the thickness cannot be compared. See how thick this is. This one just did like with an honor. So when looking for any changeover or knife switch, at least you have seen the difference. You now know the one you will get. This is more costlier than this, almost more than this one costs times three of this of this. So this is more expensive. So let's go into the connections. So let's take this one one side. So let's do this way. When coming to your inverter connections, see the covers. You are going to be see. You will see the label. See how this one they wrote um, this camera. Okay, let me just the 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 root N here saying neutral. Okay, if you can see it, and the root A in this other side. So O A N and A. Mm -hmm. okay. So this is N. This is A. This is N. And this is A. Same as this side. One more. This change over and a fight though. This is N. What is wrong with my marker? And this is A. Okay, I will be showing two methods of connecting this. Two. But I will first of all show the most commonly used ones. It's just like putting your generator, your load and then your output. That's, that's mostly what people do. They will just connect inverter this side, they will connect the generator or the light generator and light nepper this side and they will 
they will connect the load this side but that is not always the perfect option or the best option to use so this option i'm going to give you now i think is preferable than that one you used to do so coming to this now you connect your inverter your inverter output life let me see okay the inverter the inverter input is going to come to this side of the changeover then the inverter output will come to this side of the changeover coming to the load side the grid input that's the nepa will enter here why the load that's the isolation in the house where the inverter is going to power you now enter to A in this side. And can someone tell me what will happen to this up here? What and what is going to be here? If you have the answer, just leave it in the comment section. We are getting there. So once you do this like this, once you bring the changeover down, you will see that this uh, inverter input, inverter input, which is this one, will connect with the grid input we we'll connect with the grid input just like uh, the the where the grid is going to enter in the inverter look at it here so this is grid input or should i just clean this thing and say grid input maybe that one will be more let me just say or grid input I think this is better so your nepa that's going to the inverter for charging nine good day here then the nepa itself coming from your house nine good day here so once you bring the changeover down the nepa of the inverter that's the one that is meant to charge the inverter and the nepa itself will now join together and then the output the output of the inverter which is also supposed to serve to the output to the load in the house will come to the load output which is a going to a which is a here going to a this side so once you bring it this side a see the plug here as you can see the leg c going to a this side what's it up you don't finish so coming to this up here now i will read your comments in the in the in the section or please leave your comments down what you will do here is just to loop this n and a together loop the two of them just use a very thick wire join from here to here that's this one and this one just join them together so that in case when you come for maintenance on the inverter instead of turning the whole thing off and then there will not be light anywhere in the house while you work on the inverter it's just for you to take this man so all you need to do is just to take this man here and put it this way that means you are now joining the load output and the grid input together that is you are joining the nepa and the load together so there will be light in the house but it has nothing to do with the inverter because this side n which is neutral and a has already joined together so once you put this changeover like this that means automatically you are connecting this to this so it has nothing to do with the inverter you can go on with your maintenance or, or whatever you want to do 
Then what happens to the neutral? If you also have a, an, an answer to that, you can still leave it on the comment section. But simply, the neutral of the house is going to go direct to the inverter neutral. It has nothing to do with this. It will just go direct from the house. If it is an isolated neutral from the load or the, uh, the neutral input, you can isolate the neutral then take the two neutral to the inverters direct. Put, it, put one in the input and put one on the output. But if they are not isolated, that is common neutral, just pick one neutral and then take it to the inverter and that is it. So if you are confused in what I have just explained, you can take your time, rewatch the video, rewind it and understand. It is a very simple something. This N, I'm not using it as neutral. I'm just using it as indication because that's what is here. That's what is that's what is written. Um, this is my camera no get are you? Okay, see I'm neutral. Now what's in the right here? Might even use speech itself. Now what's in the right here, see I'm. So this is no you know you know hard. It's now you did very simple. The new the inverter input will come here. Some people they, then they label an A and B just like this one. They label A here and they label B here. So in any case that they use in labeling it, whether A or B or anything, just get a simple knowledge of it and then you, you are able to go. So the inverter input enters here. The inverter output enters here. The grid input, that's the one from the house, the NEPA. I'm on Ami, they suffer myself, sir. This is Nepa, I beg. Me on no suffer me grid. Who grid up? This is Nepa. So your Nepa enters here, your load output, which is the isolation from the house. Here the inverter is going to power, enters here. And then these two places, you just loop them together. That's just it. When you bring down this, this N and this N will join. And this A and this A will join. Then when you bring it, when you take it up, N and A is already looped, which means you are joining uh, A and N together. Then the neutral goes directly from the DB to the inverter straight. The neutral has nothing to do with this. So let's go to the second method. I will clean this. Let me pause the video and then get back to it. Okay, I've relabeled it. This is also another method. So let's start with this one. Here we have Nitra in this changeover. In the first one, there was no Nitra, it was all life, 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 life. But in this second method, we have Nitra. And there are cases where the second method is preferred. The cases whereby you are only using maybe probably a 1.5 kV inverter or a 2.5 kV inverter, just a small inverter, or just a small inverter and you are using maybe a Tiger generator, a small gen that, that, that could not charge the inverter or so. So instead of always coming to come and be plugging, unplugging and plugging, changing and doing all those things, you can use this second method. So let me explain. Here, the inverter neutral is going to enter on the, in the end, while the inverter output, that is the life output, will enter in the A. The neutral from the house will enter here, while the load to the house, that is where the inverter is going to power, is going to enter here. Then coming up to this place that was looped before, we now have the NEPA. You will connect the NEPA here and you also tap from here again and give the inverter input. Before, the inverter input was down. But in this one now, you have to join it together with the, with the NEPA up here. So once you put your NEPA or grid here, you tap it. You use wire, tap it and still take it to the inverter input for charging while the inverter output is going to come down so let's explain how this works now 
so if you bring it down n and n will join the the inverter has has input already so once it sees neutral it will start charging Y A and A will join. That is um, inverter output and the load output will join together. In case you don't want the inverter, in case you don't want the generator to charge the inverter, you just want to use the generator direct. Or the gen could not charge the inverter. Maybe the gen no fit, the gen no reach, or probably the inverter self is bigger than the gen, so it can't. So you just want to use the generator direct you don't want it to pass through the inverter or anything that's so once you are on your gen you just want your generator to work you don't want it to charge the inverter you don't want the gen to have anything to do with the inverter that's only when you can bring it up like this once you take it up the neutral will not join to anything there's already there's already neutral in the um, distribution board so you are only now joining the load output with the NEPA or the generator. So the inverter will be seeing input. In go they see life. But the neutral is not there, so it won't charge. It won't do anything. The thing will just be there. So, but once you bring it down like this, the inverter is already seeing life but what is lacking is the neutral so once you bring it down the neutral and the neutral will now join together the inverter will start charging okay just like i said before so any any method can serve you can decide to use the first one you can decide to use the second one once you don't want the inverter to charge with nepa or anything for some of my people that doesn't use breakers they connect everything direct <laughs> <laughs> so probably this will serve as um, um i don't even know but please very very important to use your breakers use your input breakers use your output breakers so for some people <clears throat> for some customers that might not want to be going to the a breaker side and be doing pack 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 they can just come this place at once just once they do it like this it is on bypass that's what we call it you have bypassed it it has nothing to do with the inverter again what you are using is either your nepa or your generator but once you want the gen to charge or probably they have brought light you just carry and come here finish the inverter is seeing input already what is remaining to charge is just the output it was just the it's just the neutral so once you join this neutral the inverter will start charging so this place now will be empty here will just be empty so if you have any question or any confusion in this explanation that i've just did both in the first one and in the second one you can just leave it down on the comment section or you chat me up on my number but i would prefer you leaving it down on the comment section because if it's something that um, other people is going to benefit from they can just reach the comment and um, get the knowledge instead of asking me the question all over again <laughs>